Good morning and welcome back to Coffee Break. So today is episode two of Social Media 101. The Facebook edition. Uh, we're gonna give you some tips for being an author on Facebook. So Anna, how do you be an author on Facebook? The first step is to start an author fan page. The benefit of having a fan page instead of a personal page is that you can connect with people that you don't really know. They can find you and like you and you don't have to be Facebook friends with them. So you can get your word out to so many more people mm -hmm. than you personally know. And something you might want to consider doing for your fan page is making a friend an admin. Yeah, just to help take the stress off of yourself um, we know you're busy writing your book. And rewriting it, and then rewriting it some more. And trying to promote your book, and trying to, I don't know. Sleep and eat. Yeah. <laughs> Authors are busy, and we understand. So it would just be really helpful, yeah, to have a friend help watch your notifications, make sure that everything's going well. You can even, like, I mean, it'd be best to write your own posts. People love to hear from you. But mm -hmm. if you know someone that you really trust, and you're really busy during this one week, have someone else post for you every once in a while. Yep, find a sidekick you can rely on. Yeah, this could be a spouse, kid, a friend. Random person on the street. Pretty sure you can dig someone up. You look reliable. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I think one of the hardest challenges for, well, any Facebook page, but especially for a fan page, is deciding the content. What do you post, yeah. how often? So now I have my page, what am I supposed to do with it? Yeah. Well, we did give some guidelines and ideas for content in our last episode, so you can feel free to watch that. Um, but just remember that you want to post often, but not too often, and post about your book, but not just about your book. Right. So you can post about other things that you're interested in. People will like your page because they like your books, but they also want to get to know you. And don't be afraid to reach out to other people. You know, I mean, Facebook is social media. You mm -hmm. should be social. You should be reaching out to people. Don't be afraid to make connections. People like to hear what you have to say. Yeah, a really great way to start conversations is to post a link to an article that you like that maybe is interesting to you personally or is on the same topic as your book mm -hmm. um, and just post it with your own comments. You can even tag if the author of the article is on Facebook, you can tag them and they'll see it and then your fans and their fans can start this great conversation. And don't be afraid to have fun with it. You know, you don't have to have very serious academic articles. You can post a funny video or an inspirational quote. Yeah. Maybe there's a quote from your book. I mean, that would be the perfect thing. To <laughs> Throwing that out Facebook there. <laughs> and you can also get creative with it. You know, you can start a book club mm -hmm. on Facebook. You can host a contest or a giveaway. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Yeah, there are great ways to um, have a discussion on your fan page, either just on your wall or you can create a separate tab for a specific book club that you invited people to read along with you. Mm -hmm. um, you can have a separate tab for giveaways. A great way to run a giveaway is to use a third party like Rafflecopter. Rafflecopter does all the hard work for you. Setting up the giveaway, they tell you exactly how to post it to people and there you go. Then all you have to do is click the button that chooses a random winner and then send them a book. <laughs> oh, clicking a button seems really hard work. I might I have mean... my assistant do that. <laughs> Your friend that's an admin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your friend that's an admin can click the button if you yeah. really want. <laughs> yeah. Um, both of those things, starting a book club and running a giveaway, can also be done really well on Goodreads, and we'll get into that in a later episode. Facebook is also great for promoting events. You can create event pages for upcoming book signings or appearances that you'll be doing to mm -hmm. just spread the word and get people excited so that you're not sitting there by yourself. Right. If you create the event from your public fan page instead of your personal page, um, then your fans will see it as well. You can kind of spread it around. You can even pay a little money to advertise the event to a targeted audience. So either to your fans, to friends of your fans, to people who like books, you know, to people who live in the area where the bookstore you're visiting mm -hmm. is located. Um, so, and not just events, you can actually promote pretty much any kind of post on Facebook. You can put in like $5, $20, 50 whatever you're comfortable with, and it will go a long way. Yeah, and Facebook has an algorithm, so it'll target those specific people. So yeah. the people who you would want to see the ads will see them. Yeah. They tailor them to people's tastes. Like I always get ads with 
I heart Atticus Finch t-shirts. I'm like, I do I want do that. I do heart Atticus Finch. <laughs> it's absolutely true. <laughs> um, yeah, so ads are actually remarkably easy to create. Um, you can just start from hitting the little boost button at the bottom of a post, but Facebook walks you through most of those things. And if you have any creative ideas, things that we didn't get to cover in the video, um, leave a comment. We would love to hear your ideas about how to use Facebook to promote yourself and to promote your book. Yeah, I'm sure we missed things. Um, we know stuff, but we don't know all the stuff. Please feel free to give us your tips in the comments. And next week, it's going to be so exciting because we are launching our blog. It's going to be amazing. It is. This um, is a long time coming. This is, this is a, it's going to be a big week, people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll be talking about the blog, what to expect from it. We'll also be talking about just our favorite kids' blogs and why we read them and what we love about them. The kid-lit blogosphere is pretty awesome. It's wonderful. It really is. If you haven't experienced it, then what are you doing with your life? If you haven't experienced it, watch our episode next week and we'll tell you how. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Hey, you said the ending! I said it! It just came out! <laughs>